here now on the beachfront in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's November, it's beautifully cool, and thousands of people are joining us here to take part in the Abu Dhabi Science Festival. So we bring approximately 70 events to the Abu Dhabi Science Festival and of that 50% of them come from Edinburgh. Uh, Edinburgh mainly supplies the workshops um, in the main venue, uh, so we have ones ranging from 5 years old to 15 years old. One of the main qualities that the Edinburgh International Science Festival bring over here to Abu Dhabi is their uh, immersive and interactive style of workshop uh, and theatre performances and shows. So it gives children the chance to kind of fully get involved in making something, experiencing something, discovering something. All of the science communicators that um, we have on site are super important and they are the ones that really bring everything to life. Um, so they go through a really intense training process. This year over a thousand science communicators were trained across uh, Abu Dhabi and the Emirates uh, and they go through lots of different tasks and looking at different angles for communication uh, and they have lots of fun and put this great performance on at the end changes to the, our Edinburgh workshops for Abu Dhabi. Sometimes it's to do with the scripts, sometimes we change uh, the content to mention something that's locally familiar. So for example, if we talk about constellations um, in the UK, they tend to be the ones overhead in Europe. So when we come here, we change that and talk about the ones overhead in the Middle East. Uh, sometimes we change the content to make it relevant to a local industry. So for example, uh, the oil and gas industry here is extremely um, successful and popular, and so therefore we've adapted some of our content to talk more about local companies, local industries, etc., which helps from a sponsorship perspective, helps us to um, get local sponsors on board um, that are in those areas. We approached uh, Edinburgh Science Festival because they are known as global best practice. The ISF is number one uh, science festival in the world, and uh, we absolutely wanted to work only with the best. They played a key role in helping us understand uh, what kids of different age groups, um, how they receive information, what kind of information we need to communicate to them to help us achieve what our goal is, which is to get them more excited and passionate about science and technology. So they played an integral role in helping us understand what that is and help us source it, whether it was from the content that was already developed within EISF or with some of EISF's partner content providers. The content that comes from Edinburgh is definitely um, some of the most immersive. Uh, the sets are very well thought through, um, they're very, uh, there's a lot of variety, um, there's a lots of real world environments um, that the kids get to uh, enjoy. Uh, I think it helps that we have a team of Edinburgh um, engineers that come out um, and technicians who help to build the space who really understand the vision that Edinburgh has. There are three different groups that the government are trying to influence by holding this event. They want to influence the kids and really engage them in science and technology in order for them to want to go on and study science and perhaps have a career in science. Uh, the other group of people that really get a lot out of this event are the science communicators who are our volunteer workforce which we get from the local universities. Uh, they're trained by Edinburgh before the event and they work with us to help us present the workshops in Arabic and in English. Um, those guys really gain skills in communication and confidence building and they really enjoy the relationship that they develop with the team leaders who come from Edinburgh or from the other um, professional organizations. Uh, the third group of people is definitely the parents so this year the parents more than ever have enjoyed the festival we've made it a much more comfortable um, space for people to sit in a lot more visible workshops a lot more um, outdoor theatres just really increase the kind of way that everybody can enjoy the event together. I think the thing that makes Edinburgh International Science Festival stand out from other festivals is that we really put this immersive learning experience right at the heart of what we do. Uh, we really want to take the children on this adventure and, and take them through the journey and learn science as they go through it. In Abu Dhabi, uh, we found over the years that we've been here uh, that the audience are getting much more familiar with what we do. When we arrived here in year one, there wasn't um, particularly uh, sort of science museums for children or this type of informal educational event. Uh, but we found now that we're in year four, people are much more familiar with it, um, and the parents really uh, want to be involved as well. So I think it's uh, really started something off here that hopefully will continue to be a growing trend. <laughs> Edinburgh International Science Festival is happy to talk to you about staging a major festival, a turnkey product for 
tens of thousands of people, right down through to creating an individual event or providing some consultancy about events you're already running. So we're very open to many different ways of working in many different parts of the world. Um, they've really been very good in quickly understanding the culture, uh, the needs of Abu Dhabi and how to help us fill in that gap. So I think similar to how they helped us build a fantastic festival, I think they would be able to offer that to others. You do something for yourself, you get educated and you educate other people. And I heard someone saying before, um, if you really want to do something good for this world, learn and teach others. You get something for yourself and you give. But you don't give something material, you give something that would stay for you forever.